In this example, the initial condition of the circuit while the switch number 1 is open, relay is not energized, and the electric motor is not running. What will happen if we are going to close the number 1 switch? The current flows from 24 volt supply battery through number 1 switch, through number 2 magnetic coil, and energizing the magnetic relay. Once the magnetic relay energizes, the number 3 single pole double through or SPDT contact changes its state from 11 to 12 through 11 to 14. And the current from number 4 power voltage 230 volts flows through close contact number 5 motor and the motor will run and the current flows back to power supply. Now let's do our practical exercise. So guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a relay that can control a big motor. Let's do it. From the positive of our power supply, we're going to connect it here. Positive of our power supply, going to our switch going to coil of a relay A1 from A1 from A2 of the relay going back to, uh, to the negative of the power supply. Now let's try if this relay will plug in. It works. From the positive of our power supply, we're going to connect another supply. Going to the normally open of our relay. From another side of the normally open of the relay, going to the coil of the magnetic contactor from A2 of our magnetic contactor coil going back to our negative of our power supply in this scenario guys in this scenario guys I didn't uh, plug in yet the motor but anyway I already connected the power circuit of the motor. When I'm going to press this one, this one should plug in. Doesn't run yet because I didn't plug in yet the power supply. Let's try. Okay. Both of them is plugged in. The relay, energize, and the contactor, energize. Once I plug in the power source of the motor, the motor should run. Now, I already plug in the motor Let's try if it works. It works, guys. So this is a relay how to control a big motor using contactor and power supply. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share and subscribe.